Street Fighter 6 is a game that is coming out sometime in the future on some platforms with some characters, some of which we know about, a lot of which we don't. Since all we'll know about Street Fighter 6 for months is just gonna be this little short snippet of Ryu and Luke looking at each other semi-angrily, I figured we should probably take a moment to give our predictions. What characters do we think are gonna get into Street Fighter 6? Which characters do we think are not gonna have a chance of coming back at Street Fighter 6? And, you know, just have some fun with it. If you wanna get your weekly dose of fighting games in, be sure to like this video and also subscribe for more videos like this one. As of filming, we are about 10 subs away from hitting the big 500. So if you really, really enjoy what we're doing here, hitting that subscribe button would mean the world to me. And also gets you featured with all these lovely people. So with that out of the way, let's get started. All right, starting off, we're talking about the givens. These characters are basically guaranteed. If they're not in Street Fighter 6, I would question Capcom's sanity. Chun-Li, Kami, Sakura, Dan, Sagat, Ken, Zangief, Dalton. It's pretty straightforward. A number of the Street Fighter 2 classics, as well as some of the fan favorites from the Alpha series. Here we got a nice line of Shotos with Ryu, Ken, Sakura, and Dan. Of course, Chun Li, First Lady of Fighting Games. You gotta have her in there. Kami also kind of applies for that exact same reason. Zangi, Pinnacle Grappler. He is the grappler of fighting games. And then Dalsum, Definitive Zoner, the zoner of fighting games. One more because I forgot this. Good old Guili. You, you, you can't have a Street Fighter game without Guile. It's not like Capcom ever made us pay for for Guile outside of like the base roster. That would never happen. <laughs> I'm also gonna add in Akuma. You, you need the broken Shoto. And and here is where I say we are pretty much capped as far as Shotos go. This is absolutely the cap for the Givens. Like full stop. Anything else is going into the tiers below. So let's dive into the very likelies. They're not necessarily guaranteed, but there's a good chance that they'll make it in anyway. So here we're kind of filling in the gaps with some of the Street Fighter 2 characters, adding in Blanca, Balrog, Vega. I also devoted a decent portion of the, of the list to some notable fan favorites that people openly said that they wanted in five, but we never ended up getting. So Makoto and, and Dudley are obvious inclusions into that part of the list. T Viper and Sean also fit into this segment of the list as well so i think that these guys they they skipped one game they weren't they weren't able to make it to street fighter 5 some of them have been featured in some of the street fighter 5 stories in some limited capacity i think street fighter 6 is their time to shine also some notable inclusions to here are some of the newcomers from street fighter 5. street fighter 5 has had a really solid roster of new characters but i think amongst them the ones that are most likely to return i think are going to be rashid laura and g if you were to pick any new Street Fighter V characters to make it into Street Fighter VI, then those three would be my top bets. And then, of course, Jury. Jury is a fan favorite from Four. She is, like, probably the best character that we've ever gotten from Street Fighter Four, next to probably Goken. So if she were not in either the launch roster for Street Fighter VI or not in the Season 1 pass for Six, I would be incredibly shocked. All right, so dialing it down to the likelies. So I tossed in a couple of Final Fight characters into the mix. Cody, we've, we've had the privilege of having in Street Fighter for the past two games. Guy is a pretty interesting case. I really like what they did with Zeku in Street Fighter 5, bringing in some elements of Guy's play style and then incorporating that into a really interesting stance character. I think what will be kind of cool, at least for like the Star Street Fighter 6, is to kind of have like a bit of like an alternating game between Guy's appearances and Zeku's appearance. We got Guy in four, we had Zeku in five. We're gonna have Guy probably for like the first like half of Street Fighter VI's lifespan and then maybe introduce Zeku later. I think that would be cool. But I also wouldn't be opposed to Zeku coming back. Uh, some other popular inclusions from the Street Fighter Three series, Yurian, Alex, and Hugo. I, I think the reception to a bunch of those characters has been relatively positive. Yurian and Alex were very like highly requested characters that we got in the first season past and that built a lot of hype abuki also falling into that tier as well hugo i genuinely believe is one of the most hype grapplers in street fighter history specifically his street fighter 4 iteration so i wouldn't be surprised if they shook up street fighter 6's grappler roster at the start with a little bit of hugo spliced in there I would appreciate it. Let's talk about the 50-50s. Uh, these are characters that could make it into the game. These are characters that could not make it into the game. Who knows? That's why it's a 50-50. Abel, Poison, Bulk, Abigail, Seth, Akira, Colleen, Rolento, Kage, Fong, Zeku, T-Hawk, and Bison, Minot, Adon, and Gen. Poison is a character that they have reworked a number of different times both in Street Fighter 4, Cross Tekken, and in Street Fighter 5. She's okay, I guess. I don't know if she's gonna come back. I'm really not convinced. She's appeared in two games straight. They reworked her 
several different times. I'm not sure if they're going to bring in another zoner that is that dominant. At least not at like the start of Street Fighter 6. And it's the more popular of the Neo Shadow characters. So as much as I love Falk, I'm putting her in this tier. Akira was a really cool mix. She brought something really unique and different to Street Fighter 5. She brought her own little like rival schools element into Street Fighter 5. And I really appreciated that. I don't think she's going to come back, though. I think it was just kind of like a, here's like, the cool thing. Hope you like it. Uh, Kage is like the evil Ryu of Street Fighter V. So people like evil Ryu. People like the angry Shoto's doing angry Shoto things. So maybe he'll come back. I don't know. But yeah, other than that, a lot of these are fairly straightforward. One of these is like a personal, I don't want them to come back. But I have my, I have my own gripes for 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 bison i can that's a that's a that's a discussion for another day that's a discussion for another day so the not likelies birdie akan rufus 11 12 the capre el fuerte nash lucia nikali gill and Probably Remy. So the characters in this tier are either characters that really don't bring anything new to the table that the characters above don't bring already. Some of these characters are have been extremely controversial in in their previous iterations. Uh, more notably, the Street Fighter 4 iterations of Elena, the Capre, El Fuerte, and even Rufus in some regards, depending on who you're asking. So those are characters I don't think are coming back unless they get major reworks. And then my other place was in, the, in this in this tier kind of story base. They killed off Nash. Nikali really doesn't have any reason to matter outside of five. He barely mattered within five in general, just from a gameplay standpoint and from a lore standpoint. Gil, I'm actually willing to move from the not likely tier into the 50-50 tier solely because we don't know where they're going to go with the story for Street Fighter 6. It, we don't know if it's going to take place before Street Fighter 3 or after Street Fighter 3. If it takes place before, there's a good argument for Gil to be included. If it, was, if it takes place after Street Fighter 3, you can make the argument that he could potentially not make it in. But I think SF5's playable version of Gil brings a lot of really interesting stuff to the table with how his retribution system works. If they rework the way how damage scales for retribution and maybe open up some more of the damage opportunities that it has, it could be a very, very powerful tool in what could be a very, very, like, flashy and action heavy looking game i'm also going to make some uh, other additions to the 50 50 tier i'm going to add necro and i'm going to add oro i'm at i'm adding necro up here just because there's a chance they could try and like really spice things up and change who like the definitive zoner is of the roster at the very start of street by six lifespan and actually switch out Dalsim for Necro. I think that would be really, really cool. Oro is just a very interesting character to watch. I actually really enjoy watching Oro. It might just be because I'm watching a whole bunch of Brian F, but that's besides the point. Now, as far as the very unlikely and the no chance tiers goes, uh, these are my wish list. Read, read these as like my wish list, essentially. These are characters I really want in the game. I don't think it's gonna happen, but I think it would be cool. Eagle, Lee, Julie. Maki, Hagar, Retsu, Batsu, Tiffany. I just really like all these characters. I just think they're really cool. Having more characters from Street Fighter 1 be actually playable is would be really, really interesting. Especially Lee, because Lee, in, in accordance to his lore, he's like a mentor to Yun and Yang, and he's also like a drunken fist fighter. Street Fighter does not have a drunken boxer in their video games. It, it boggles my mind that we don't have one yet. We should have one. So for that reason alone, I want Lee to be in the game. And then Batsu and Tiffany, I just like Rival Schools. Rival Schools is cool. So have have main protagonist dude and boxing cheerleader in the game. That's really all I want. And also Hagar, Hagar would be cool. Just a nice, if they were to do like an alternative to Geef and just put Hagar in the game, I'd be okay with that. I'd be okay with that. And then no chances everyone else. I will not be explaining myself. This video is over. Subscribe, goodbye.